As a researcher, we all have to do extensive literature study, whether for finding a research gap, identifying suitable research question, writing research paper, a review, or thesis. And if you have ever had to read a lot of research papers, you know how much time it takes to find right research papers, reading them all, finding useful insights, it's really very tough. Therefore, in this video, I will explain how the newly launched feature Deep Review of SciSpace can help you perform literature review 10x faster with more precision. I will show you what Deep Review is, how it works, what makes it different from others, and how you can read more papers in lesser time and a quick demonstration of this feature. Plus, we will give you a sneak peek at the new feature they are soon going to launch. So what is Deep Review? Deep Review is a dedicated research assistant by SciSpace that specializes in performing thorough systemic literature search, finding best and highly relevant papers for the topic of your interest within minutes. All the responses you get are backed by scientific literature. Now let's see how Deep Review does this and what makes it different from other tools. First, Deep Review optimizes the search query using improved keywords. Second, it runs multiple refined searches which improves the results it generates. It also refers hidden papers and citations that can be of high relevance and are worth considering. Another important thing is that it knows when to stop, which means it shows only the most important papers and won't suggest you any irrelevant literature. Last but not the least, all the papers provided are structured and categorized for more clarity. Deep Review is just like a researcher performing different kind of searches and refinements to get most relevant literature, that too without taking too much of your time. Now let's see how to use Deep Review feature with practical example. You will find the Deep Review option here. Suppose I want to perform a literature review on topic impact of stress on health. As you type, it will suggest you some relevant topics that you might consider. But for now, we will be proceeding with this query only. As our topic is too broad, it is asking me to refine the query, like a specific age group or any particular kind of stress that I am interested in. I am interested in studying the effect of chronic stress on health in teenagers. Now it has enhanced our search providing more specific topic. You can directly submit the search or you can refine it further reading the suggestions provided. For example, here I want to focus on stress related to mental health disorder and potential interventions. So I will be refining the query before submitting it. If you look at the query we initially provided, the current query looks more refined and more specific. Once we submit, it will perform the systematic literature search. It clearly says it will take up to 3 minutes, which otherwise would take me several days or weeks for performing a literature search. It runs multiple relevant queries to identify best possible papers so that anything important does not miss out. On the right, it will show the progress made. You can also see the paper it is searching that are relevant to the query and chosen filters. Once the search completes, you will see the total papers that are referred for this literature search. It will provide a quick synthesized summary from top 20 highly relevant papers along with the references. Below this, you get summaries of all the papers in a tabular format. At the bottom, you will find option to load more papers. You can customize the columns to include relevant sections such as summarized abstracts, results, methods, limitations and others. This way, you find important information of all the papers at one place without shuffling through different tabs. You can export the table and references in various formats. Once the file is ready, you will receive an email. Here I have downloaded the tabular summaries of all the papers. You can read the entire paper clicking on the DOI if it is an open access. But if it is a paid article, you cannot read the entire text. SciSpace provides you an option to email the authors directly from here and they might send you the full paper. To learn how to get paid research articles absolutely for free, you can refer my another video linked below. Now let's explore more about Deep Review. At the top, expand the research steps. You will find the search queries, suggestions and refinements made. The multiple relevant queries that have been searched, you can see it has used different relevant terms for chronic like prolonged and long term. This can be really useful for finding most possible papers and avoid missing them out just because other similar words have been used in the titles or abstracts. Next very important thing is that it finds all the papers including those referred in citations and references so that anything relevant and important does not miss out. 
when you click on drop down you will find the list of all the papers along with their title so that you can directly navigate to their official link and read it i think they should provide an option to export the list from here also next it sorts all the papers based on their relevance and extra useful insights that we saw previously from each of them to sum up in this video we saw what is deep review and how using deep review feature you can perform a thorough and systematic literature review along with example compared to standard and advanced model of literature review deep review has significantly improved its algorithm for performing a more human like literature search apart from literature review scispace offers multiple useful features to assist researchers in summarizing pdfs chat with them to get answers to your queries then it has ai writing assistant that improves your academic writing you can extract data from papers check for ai content convert your papers to videos and various other useful features that i have covered in my other videos i will put their link below so that you can directly navigate to them scispace is also adding a new feature called browser control this will let you search for papers on other websites like google scholar pubmed and others this feature is coming soon you can join the waitlist using the link given below to get involved as soon as the feature is launched you can try out some of its features absolutely for free but for using the most advanced feature of this tool deep review you need to upgrade to advanced plan if you sign up using the link given in the description you will also get a good discount if you have any queries related to research and ai tools leave a comment below i will try to answer them and if you want to learn more about such useful ai tools research and publishing and other such topics do subscribe my channel thanks and i will see you in my next video